Rule number five, keep your teeth and braces clean. Excellent toothbrushing and flossing, also called oral hygiene, and a proper diet is the most important rule of all. Oral hygiene is so important because without good oral hygiene and a healthy diet, your teeth and gums can be permanently damaged. Everyone's mouth is home to many types of bacteria. Some of the bacteria are dangerous and can damage your teeth and gums during orthodontic treatment. The dangerous bacteria stick to teeth and combine with food and saliva to form a layer of plaque. The bacteria in the plaque feeds on the sugars and starches that you eat and immediately begins making acid that attacks your teeth and gums. The acid produced by bacteria in the plaque will attack your teeth and start dissolving the outer layer of the tooth, called enamel. At first, the damaged enamel will turn white and become rough, creating unsightly tooth scars. Later, a hole in the enamel, called cavitation, will start to form. Eventually, the damaged area will grow into a full cavity that can infect and damage the inside nerve and blood vessels of the tooth. Believe it or not, disease-causing plaque can form on a tooth within just a day of a thorough professional cleaning. And failing to clean your teeth regularly and correctly can cause unsightly scarring within just three short weeks. The bacteria and plaque can also attack your gums and cause them to become red and swollen. The swelling can become so bad that the gums may begin to grow over the braces. Infected gums bleed easily and put out a foul-smelling odor, which causes bad breath. The diseased gums and bone that support the teeth will eventually start to pull away or recede from the teeth, leaving the teeth in a weakened and loose condition. The problems that occur from poor oral hygiene and poor diet are very serious and widespread. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 95% of adult Americans suffer from tooth decay. Considered by the U.S. Surgeon General to be a silent epidemic, tooth decay is a chronic childhood disease that affects five times more children than asthma and is estimated to result in 51 million lost school hours each year. But as serious as these problems are, they are completely preventable in just seven to eight minutes each day. Think of that. You are awake for about 900 minutes each day, and in just seven or eight of those minutes, less than 1% of your waking time, you can make sure that your teeth and gums stay clean and healthy during your orthodontic treatment. So, how does it work? To start with, you should know something about what we call danger zones. These are the areas of your teeth where just normal brushing isn't enough to remove the plaque when you have braces. Since these are the places where plaque is usually found, the danger zones are the areas where you are most at risk of scarring and cavities. The danger zones are the areas of your teeth between the braces and the gum line and the areas of your teeth to the sides of the braces. Carefully clean your teeth, paying special attention to the danger zones three times each day. If you miss an area during one of the cleanings, there is still a good chance that you will get to that area the next time, before the plaque becomes dangerous. One of these cleaning times must always be after your last meal or snack, before you go to bed at night. The nighttime cleaning will take three to four minutes and the other two cleanings should take about two minutes each. Choose times during the day that are spread apart and convenient. For instance, many patients clean their teeth right after breakfast, right after their after-school snack, and right before bed each night. When you get your braces, you will receive an oral hygiene kit that includes some familiar tools, like a toothbrush and floss, and some new items that we will introduce as we go. Let's take out each tool in the order you will use it, and we'll show you how it works. We will start with the first cleaning of the day. Step 1. Most patients start with a toothbrush. We recommend that you brush first without toothpaste. This allows you to see the surfaces of the teeth and any plaque that might be in the danger zones. So, without toothpaste, focus first on the danger zones of the upper or top teeth. Angle the bristles of the toothbrush down about 45 degrees, touching the tops of the braces and the area of the teeth between the braces and the gum line. Gently brush the danger zone areas using small circular strokes. Do this for all the teeth, front and back. Next, angle the bristles of the toothbrush about 45 degrees up, touching the underside of the braces and the area of teeth between the braces and the biting surfaces of the teeth. Again, gently brush these areas of the front and back teeth and braces using small circular strokes. Now, repeat the entire process for the lower teeth. Make sure you thoroughly clean each tooth above and below the braces. 
It is also recommended that you push the bristles of the toothbrush under the arch wire while cleaning above and below the braces for all the teeth. This will make sure that the areas of the teeth under the arch wire are cleaned as well. Plan on taking a few minutes to thoroughly clean all of the front and back teeth. Like everything new, it will take a little practice at first, but stay with it and before long you will be an expert. Now, brush the biting surfaces of all the teeth. Finally, angle the brush again toward the gum line on the inside of the teeth and brush the same way that you did on the outside. When brushing the inside of the front teeth, simply angle the handle of the brush forward out of the front of your mouth with the brush against the inside part of the gums and teeth. If you have inside or lingual braces, simply reverse the inside-outside instructions. You will notice that the angle used on the side without braces is a little different because the danger zones are only on the sides of your teeth that are covered with braces. If you have an electric toothbrush, follow the manufacturer's guidelines for moving the brush head, but be sure to use the same angle or direction that we just described for a manual toothbrush. Step 2. Next, we will use the small proxy brush. That's the brush with a head that's shaped like a pine tree. The proxy brush will help you thoroughly clean the danger zones. Without toothpaste, turn the brush sideways and brush the area of the teeth between the gum line and braces. It's important to work extra hard to brush all of the plaque away from behind the elastic hooks. Brushing this area of the danger zone again with the proxy brush will ensure the removal of any plaque missed by the toothbrush. Rinse often to remove any plaque from the brush head. Next, turn the proxy brush straight down, pointing away from the gums. Insert the brush between the top teeth and under the arch wire. Thoroughly clean the sides of both teeth next to the brush head. Repeat this procedure for the bottom teeth with the brush turned straight up and away from the gum line. Rinse thoroughly after use of the proxy brush. If your orthodontist has recommended the use of an oral irrigator, such as a water pick, this is when the irrigator should be used. Rinsing thoroughly removes any remaining debris and bacteria from around the braces and out of the mouth. Step 3. To complete the first cleaning of the day, add a small pea-sized amount of toothpaste to your toothbrush and gently brush the toothpaste into the danger zone areas of the top and bottom teeth. To best protect your teeth, we recommend using toothpaste that contains both fluoride and xylitol. The fluoride will help reduce the number of dangerous bacteria in your mouth, and it will help strengthen the enamel of your teeth. Xylitol is a natural sweetener that prevents the harmful, cavity-causing bacteria from sticking to your teeth and forming plaque. Xylitol also reduces risk of scarring to the teeth by reducing the acid production of the bacteria. In a few minutes, you'll learn more about xylitol. It is important that you do not rinse your mouth after brushing with this special toothpaste. Simply spit any remaining toothpaste out of your mouth and don't eat or drink anything for 30 minutes after brushing. Step 4. If recommended by your doctor. Your orthodontist or dentist may recommend that you rinse with a special mouthwash after brushing your teeth with toothpaste. If so, it's important that you follow your doctor's instructions carefully. If you are at a higher risk of damage to your teeth and gums, the mouth rinse will help avoid these problems. Now, let's talk about the second cleaning of the day. For your afternoon cleaning, just follow the same steps that you used in the morning. Remember, step one is using a wet toothbrush without any toothpaste. Step two is cleaning with your proxy brush, also without toothpaste. And step three is when you brush fluoride and xylitol toothpaste into the danger zones. And remember to follow your doctor's instructions if you have been asked to use a special mouth rinse. Finally, let's go to the third and final brushing of the day. Before you go to bed, you will follow the same steps that you used for the first two cleanings. However, there's one more step that must be added at night. Even with great tooth and proxy brushing, it is impossible to remove the plaque between the teeth, unless you floss. So here is the best way to floss each night. You will need two items from your toothbrushing kit, a strand of floss, about a foot long, and a floss threader. The floss can be used only once, but the threader can be used many times. Slip one end of the floss through the threader loop, then carefully slide the pointed end of the floss threader underneath the arch wire, 
and gently pull the threader through the space between the arch wire and the adjacent teeth. Then set the threader aside. Now, slip the floss between your teeth and angle it from front to back and up and down to thoroughly clean all the surfaces between the teeth. This is a very important step in cleaning the teeth because it removes dangerous bacteria from between the teeth to prevent damage to the teeth and gums. Repeat this process for all of your teeth. The first few times that you floss your teeth with braces may be frustrating. At first, it may take a long time, but keep going and don't give up. Like everything else, the more you practice flossing, the faster and easier it will become. And since you will be flossing just once each day, it's especially important that you take your time and do a super job. Your orthodontist may ask you to use a different method or technique for cleaning between your teeth. Please follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Remember, the important thing is to thoroughly clean between the teeth every day. And there you have it. With just a few minutes and three cleanings a day, you can greatly prevent painful damage to your teeth and gums. Congratulations. Thanks to your excellent oral hygiene and a healthy diet, you will help prevent damage to your teeth and gums. Look at the difference that following rule five can make. Here are examples of patients who cooperated throughout their orthodontic treatment and ended up with straight teeth and a great bite. But look at the swollen gums and scarring on the teeth of these patients who failed to follow the five rules. They consumed too many sugary foods and drinks, especially between meals, and they didn't take time to clean their teeth carefully as instructed. Let's look at a few more cases with attractive straight teeth and correct bites. Notice the great looking finish without any unattractive damage to the teeth or gums. How do you want your teeth to look? You are in complete control. You can make sure that your teeth look strong and healthy by following the important rules that we just discussed. Pay special attention to rule number five. Thoroughly clean your teeth three times each day with a fluoride xylitol toothpaste. Avoid sugary foods and use xylitol gum or mints four to six times each day. Everyone should have strong teeth, healthy gums, and a dazzling smile. Now that you know these five simple rules, you're on your way to a lifetime of great oral health.